We'll be showing exactly how you can connect your 2.4 gigahertz um, devices to your 5 um, gigahertz Wi-Fi modem without wasting your time. I'll be showing two different methods. Um, easy step for you to connect your um, uh, 2.4 gigahertz to your to your Wi-Fi without wasting your time. Because I have seen terrible <laughs> solution on the internet, mostly really on the YouTube channel, on how you can make this connection possible. One actually requires you taking your uh, devices uh, uh, 100 meters away from your from your Wi-Fi, which include your your um, air condition, uh, portable air condition, sorry, uh, your um, uh, washing machine, vacuum cleaner. I mean anything you can take off. Take it 100 meters away from your Wi-Fi. That's terrible. But um, the video that I'm making today, you don't need to take your devices anywhere. Just sit down in your house and make the connection possible. So I have two different methods and. Uh, uh, I mean, they are both reliable, but I sincerely uh, uh, would want to start from the first method, and I actually like the second method more than the first method. So, with that being said, let me just trust my computer and show you exactly how you can make this connection possible. So, it's uh, left for you to choose um, the uh, the I mean, to choose from the one that you like, the first or the second one. But for me, I prefer the second method. But so, let me just hop to my computer and show you exactly how you can make this connection possible. So, before we start. Um, Sorry, come in. I mean, go back. So before we start, I think you need to get access to your modem. Like me, I I'm currently using. Um, I don't know if you can see clearly, Vodafone Power Station. So this is my this is my modem. So I and I have a app to get access to this uh, this modem. So let me go straight to my computer. Show you the, fir the first method on how you can uh, make this connection possible. So this is my uh, Vodafone phone and power station where I can gain access to my model. So let me click on that. If you can't gain access to your model, I think you should call your service provider, tell them or ask them on how you can get access to your to your Wi-Fi. It's very important. So this is my uh, my my Wi-Fi connection, my app. So uh, I think the first thing we want to do, let's go straight. This is the first first method. So let's go to my. Uh, main wi-fi so if you notice at uh, the left hand side yeah you see 2.4 gigahertz slash 5 gigahertz so they are both joined together in in every uh, 5 gigahertz uh, connection there is always 2.4 gigahertz but they are mainly joined together in I me mean, almost all the more on the model so what you are going to do now like uh, can me give you an example like uh, my main uh, my, me camera can't get access to 5 gigahertz I mean they are only compatible to 2.4 gigahertz sorry so uh, in order for us to make this connection possible I think the first you want to do you go to advanced settings so I don't know um, if uh, it will be like this on your app but uh, let's just use me as an example let's go to advanced settings you scroll down and search for split network so what we're about to do right now, we are planning to split this network. If you click on split network, okay, let me just do it for you to see this split network. Okay. So what this does, it um, splits the five, the four, two point four gigahertz from the five m in gigahertz. So I don't know if you understand. So if you have any uh, my, uh, uh, my device that are not compatible to five gigahertz. So splitting this network will give you the the, uh, the access to 2.4 gigahertz or 5 um, gigahertz without getting to take your your devices uh, 100 meters away from your from your modem. So let me quickly show you exactly what this does. Let me go straight to my my settings. So if I'm taking your turn, I just like I say, seeing is believing. So for you to believe in what you want to do. So let me go straight to connection, my Wi-Fi connection, and show you exactly what happened. Okay, let me. Let me refresh. Sorry, turn off Wi-Fi. Let me turn it on, so you know exactly what I'm what I'm saying. You take uh, like uh, three seconds due to my. Okay, let me refresh again. Just take like forty seconds for it to appear. Okay, refresh again. So now you can see we we now have a uh, five gigahertz separate from two point four gigahertz. So this is five gigahertz uh, my connection. This is two point four gigahertz. So that's what uh, this um, split network does to uh, um, uh, to our modem. 
so you have to, um, you now have two separate network 2.4 gigahertz from a uh, 5 gigahertz so uh, that's the first method and i sincerely do not like this method what this does is that uh, um you know the 5 gigahertz is actually faster than the 2.4 gigahertz so i am currently using a smartphone and a, a smart tv so if i connect my smartphone and smart tv to my my uh, main network which is a uh, uh, 5 gigahertz so they are smart and they have the ability to switch from 5 gigahertz to uh, 2.4 gigahertz if the 5 gigahertz is very slow my phone will switch to uh, 2.4 gigahertz and if uh, um, uh, 2.4 gigahertz is slow my phone will switch back to 5 uh, gigahertz so that's why i don't prefer using this method so i just want my smartphone and my smart tv to do the uh, um, the exchange for the safe once the network if the network is slow the network is fast so they know what to do so that's why i don't like using this uh, first method so that takes us to our second method on how you can actually make this connection possible so the second method let me join the network back okay so i i actually like it this way let my smartphone my smart tv do the the connection the um, selection of a faster network so the second method that's what i'm actually using so let me go back on the dashboard so you can see so the second method actually requires you uh, 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 creating guest network so i don't know the model that you're using but my model you can clearly see it i'm using a um, guest wi-fi so to create a, a, a guest wi-fi you can see either add a network or you see add a guest um, a network or guest wi-fi so create a guest wi-fi or a guest uh, network for your for your model you can clearly see my here uh, let me click on this so you can see you can clearly see my uh, i'm using a guest uh, my, uh, network so what this does is that uh, if you create a if you create a guest um, uh, uh, a guest uh, network guest network they are only uh, allowed to use 2.4 gigahertz they are not allowed, allowed using uh, 5 gigahertz it's just like you having guest in your house and they, they will use a uh, slower net network while you use the uh, uh, 5 um, uh, gigahertz so with that being said i'm currently using a guest network and in this guest network that's where i put all my 2.4 gigahertz uh, devices that cannot connect to 5 um, uh, gigahertz so i am currently having i currently have three cameras main cameras that are, that are connected to this uh, guest network so while i connect my uh, smartphone my smart tv any uh, device that can that have the ability to switch from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz i just switch put them in my main my main network so let me go to dashboard so you can see so i have main network this main network the it's it's uh, uh it's combined with 2.4 gigahertz and the uh, 5 gigahertz while my guest uh, uh wi-fi it's uh only really compatible or it's um not allowed to use 5 gigahertz meaning it's a uh, um, inbuilt with a 2.4 gigahertz but i have configured auto like um, a 13 uh, modem from different people i came across one that uh, uh, came with a 2.4 gigahertz slash, slash 5 gigahertz so if you are in that, situa in that situation you go straight to uh, your guest wi-fi and split the network leaving your main network with a uh, 2.4 gigahertz and uh, slash 5 gigahertz so i hope my explanation is not <laughs> that too confusing to you and uh, if i sincerely help you in making your connection possible i would sincerely love you to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up so liking my video will sincerely make other people see my video but if uh my video is not helpful to you you can also give me a dislike and leave make sure you leave your comment on the comment section with that i'll get to create next video uh, share with you tips on how you can uh, make the connection possible so with that i have come to the end of my video thanks for watching and stay blessed hopefully you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up thanks for watching stay blessed and i'll be seeing you soon in the next video peace out for now